I am not gonna let you divorce him. Never. Yeah, mom's right. I can't even walk. That's what my mother-in-law and my husband told me. I married my husband Aiden because I loved him. Even though we are no longer lovers, I still love him dearly as a family. My mother-in-law was strict with me in some ways, but she never said anything unreasonable. My husband's always defended me. Then one day, he had a car accident. It was a big accident, and he didn't regain consciousness. While I was busy visiting my husband and dealing with the accident, I checked the drive recorder. When I saw the footage, I was astonished. I knew I could never forgive my husband. Everything that had happened seems to be a lie. When he regained consciousness, and he was wheelchair bound, I said goodbye to him. My name is Hazel, a 35 years old housewife. My husband Aiden and I got married two years ago. I was depressed for a long time because my ex-boyfriend, who had promised to marry me, dumped me. I met my husband at a party because my friends were worried about me and took me there. To marry my ex-boyfriend, I started working as a temp instead of getting a full-time job after graduating from college. My ex-boyfriend was a very kind man, and I thought I could build a peaceful family with him. But one day, he suddenly told me that he had fallen in love with a girl in the same class and broke up with me. He said he would pay me alimony for breaking off the engagement. But I refused and ran away from the house I was living with him. My husband was the opposite of my ex-husband. When he arrived at the party, when my friends took me for a drink, Hazel, right? I'm Aiden. Your friend told me you went through a tough time. He asked me right away. My friend had told him that I was not doing well. I'd been afraid to get involved with people. Since my ex betrayed me, it's been a while since I've been out to a party like this. That's awesome. Here is to take in the first step. I know it's like to be cheated on. I had the same experience, you know. But it's a waste of time to stay depressed. Let's just enjoy today. My heart, which had been heavy for a long time, felt a little lighter. That day. We had a lot of alcohol and a lot of fun. My husband and I exchanged contact information. The next day, he contact he contacted me, and we decided to go out for dinner. While talking to him, I could forget the events of the day my ex-boyfriend dumped me that used to be always in my mind. After seeing Aiden for a while, before I knew it, I was no longer reminded of my ex-boyfriend, even when I was alone. I'm happy to see you getting better day by day, and I'm going to keep making you happier. You know, let's stay together, Hazel. I will never betray you. When I heard these words, I knew I could trust him. We officially started dating. Every day was happy and fulfilling. Even though he was the same age as me, my husband was very dependable. When I had a bad day at work, he cheered me up. Like he did when we first met, my friends were surprised to see that I had become a different person from the one who had been depressed until a few months ago. After a year of dating, he proposed to me, and we decided to get married. I was so happy to be able to marry to a person that I loved so much. When we went to my in-laws' house to say hello, I was so nervous that I couldn't stop sweating. My father-in-law was a man of a few words, but he tried to ease my nerves. My husband also showed me pictures from his childhood to ease my nerves. My mother-in-law was cheerful and true to herself. I don't know why you were so nervous about. I'm not against you getting married. We are going to be a family. She patted me on the back and said with a laugh. Hearing my mother-in-law's words. My nerves instantly relaxed. I'll teach you how to take care of the house, and I'll be strict with you, Mom. 
Hazel can do everything well without your teaching her. She doesn't need your help. My husband laughed and defended me. My mother-in-law heard what he said. I'm just joking. She laughed. My in-laws live far away, but we'll have a good relationship. That's what I thought. At the wedding, many of our friends celebrated with us. I was so happy that I cried all the time. For the first few years of our marriage, we were really in love. I was looking forward to my husband to coming home after work every day. I would get so much done because I knew the delicious dinner would be waiting for me. My husband's job required a lot of overtime, but no matter how late he comes home, he always eats my dinner, and he always raves about my cooking. And I just want him to praise me more. In my spare time, I look at recipe websites and more and more dishes to my repertoire. During New Year's, I visited my parents-in-law's house with my husband. My mother-in-law always teaches me how to cook. You should buy an instant pot. Try this meat. It's so tender, isn't it? Sometimes she was kind, of course, but more often she was stern. What are you doing? Well, then you are wasting your time. You need to be smart about what you're doing. I used to cook only for my husband. And I didn't have the skills to cook for other people. I was often told strictly, and it was a learning experience for me. My in-laws are not bad people. I think I was able to live peacefully. But maybe you are happy with just the two of you now. You should have kids soon. The only time I was hurt was when my mother-in-law told me about children. It's not that we don't want to have children. Of course, we want to have a child, but it's not that easy. My husband and I talked about it and decided not to have fertility treatment. It was maybe it was maybe our fault for not talking to my mother-in-law about it. But every time we saw her, she would mention the child to our faces. Hey, mom, we have our own timing. When my husband was around, he was quick to cover for me. When he wasn't, when he wasn't, I just had to force a smile. A few times a year, my parents-in-law would come to visit and stay at our house. I didn't want my mother-in-law to say anything. So, when my in-laws come to visit, I clean the house from top to bottom. On the days when we eat home. I made more elaborate dishes than usual. I was so well prepared. She never said anything about the house, but she would still say something about the children. Each time, my husband defended me. Then time passed, and we were married for five years. Unlike when we first got married, we were no longer lovers. But that doesn't mean I don't love him anymore. He's still important to me, and we just have become family. I'm sure he's probably the same way. However, no matter how late he comes home, he always eats my cooking. We never had children, but I think we had a good relationship. I thought that no matter how old we get, we will live together with the same sense of distance. My relationship with my in-laws has not changed. And we still see each other a few times a year. The only thing that has changed is that I can talk back to my mother-in-law a little bit now. My mother-in-law is always talking to me about children. You know what can't be done can't be done. I can now say it in a joking way. My mother-in-law doesn't get angry at me for that. I know that, but I can't help saying it. I'm sorry. She started to laugh with me. Then one day, I received a call on my phone from an unknown number. Hello, is this Aiden's wife? Your husband has been in an accident and is in the hospital. Please come to the hospital right now. I was so surprised that I couldn't catch up with what was going on. 
I immediately took a cab to the hospital. Coincidentally, my parents in law were visiting us that week. So, in the cab, I called my mother in law Mom, Aiden, it's Aiden. What? What's wrong, Gianna? Something happened to Aiden? He, he had an accident and was taken to the hospital. I couldn't speak properly because I couldn't stop crying. But my mother in law understood immediately. She was on a sightseeing tour with my father in law, but they agreed to come to the hospital right away. When I arrived at the hospital, my husband was in surgery. He was driving his car when he was hit from behind. The other car was driving very fast. He was hit hard. The hospital explained that he was unconscious and in critical condition. I broke down in tears, but my mother in law said, I'm sure Aiden will be fine. We just have to wait and believe in him. I was sorry that my parents in law were worried about me, even though it must have been hard for them too. It took a long time, but the surgery was a success and my husband survived. My parents in law and I cried in relief. After that, my husband's consciousness didn't come back easily. I took turns with my parents in law to make sure that he would wake up at any time. While my, while my in laws were left in church, I was busy dealing with the accident and other formalities. As far as the police told me, my husband was the victim of the accident. The other party was arrested for dangerous driving. However, the person tested that my husband was also at fault. I wanted to protect my husband. So I went to the location where the accident happened. The car was so damaged. I thought the drive recorder might have been destroyed. But, mir but miraculously, it was safe. I took the SD card and checked it with my laptop. And the footage was still there. After that, I headed to the hospital to switch places with my mother in law. I was almost at the hospital when I got a call from my mother in law. Hey, Gianna! Aiden has regained consciousness! She sounded so happy. I rushed to the hospital. Thank goodness! Aiden, you are awake! When I arrived at the hospital, I heard my mother in law's voice. My husband was able to talk as if he had been just sleeping. Oh. I was in an accident. I don't remember. When I heard he was awake, his doctor came to check on him and we all talked to him. My father in law also came to the hospital with my mother. His doctor said that the surgery was a success, but he didn't know if we would be able to walk again. He said he would be in a wheelchair for a while and would do the physical therapy, but they can't promise. That he will be able to walk again. The atmosphere in the room was heavy, as if it was a different place than when my husband woke up. Why? I can't walk? After his doctor left, my husband mumbled to himself. My mother in law said to cheer him up We will help you as much as we can. Let's do our best in physical therapy so you can walk again. Right, Gianna? Instead of agreeing with her, I said, No, I'm leaving him. I want a divorce. Everyone there was surprised at my unexpected answer. Huh? What are you talking about? In a situation like this? I'll never allow you to divorce my son. You heartless woman. My mother in law yelled at me. My husband continued. Yeah, mom's right. I can't even walk. How dare you? My father in law was too shocked to say anything. Then, I took my laptop out of my bag and showed them a video. What if someone finds out already? It's okay, we're on break. No one from the office is going to come around here. Your wife could be watching. There is my husband and a young woman. 
the video showing of them talking to each other and making out. She was wearing the uniform of the company where my husband worked. From the conversation, it was clear that he had been having an affair with this woman. What the hell is this? When my father in law asked in surprise, No, no, it was just a fling. There's nothing between me and this woman. My husband was too nervous to explain himself. My mother in law seemed to be at a loss for words, perhaps because she was so surprised. I kept quiet and played the next video. I'm not doing well with my wife. I'm getting divorced soon. So, let's get married. Really? Will you marry me? My husband and the woman were talking to each other, giggling. How disgusting! What are you doing, Aiden? My father in law, who was always so calm, turned into an angry man. My husband was lying on his face. Aiden, you shouldn't cheat on your wife. Apologize to Gianna. And Gianna, forgive him, okay? Aiden's body is like this now. He can't cheat on you anymore. The mother in law, who had kept quiet until a few minutes ago, became impatient and started defending her son. Well, I want you to watch something else. And then I played another video. There was my mother in law and my husband. I want to see my grandchildren's face, you know? Mom, don't tell dad, but I'm thinking of getting a divorce and remarrying. The next one will be young, so you'll be able to see your grandchild soon. Oh, yeah? That's great! But if you cheat on your wife, she'll take all the money. Don't worry, I'm making sure she never finds out. As long as I come home and eat, that's all that matters to Gianna. She is happy as long as I eat her cooking. She doesn't seem suspicious at all. I'll pay it smart. Don't worry. <laughs> you are so smart. I can't wait to see my grandchildren. My grandmother knew that my husband was cheating on me. And she agreed he would divorce me so she could see her grandchild's face. This is disgusting. How dare you two talk like this? I don't want this kind of wife or son. My father-in-law's face turned red and he got super angry. My mother-in-law and my husband are looking impatient as if they don't know what to do. Which one of us is the heartless one? I'll divorce you for sure. Why should I help you after all you have done? Please be happy with your young lover. Goodbye. Wait, wait. Gianna. Ignoring my husband's voice, I left the hospital room. My father in law followed me. Gianna, I am so sorry. He bowed deeply. It's not your fault. Thank you for everything. Please tell him that my lawyer will be in touch with him. As I walked out the hospital, the tears that I had been holding back began to flow. I wondered how long I had been deceived. I don't know. But now that I know, I was glad that I could leave him. The divorce went through without a hitch. I got a lot of alimony. And of course, the other woman he was cheating on me with. The lawyer told me that she was a receptionist at Aiden's company. I was surprised to hear that she was just turned 20. They used to meet on their lunch break at a place a few blocks away from the office and then go back to the office separately. The accident happened while my ex-husband was returning to his office alone. I was a little skeptical as to why he had an accident in his car while he was at work. But after hearing his story, it made sense. My lawyer told me that sometimes she and my ex-husband would take half a day off to visit his lover's house. He was being very thorough so that I wouldn't find out. 
I don't think my husband thought it would come out this way. And because the affair had become a rumor within the company, I heard that he had to quit his job. And the woman he had an affair with had to quit the company as well. She was young and had no savings, and had to borrow money to pay the alimony. At the same time, we divorced. My parents-in-law divorced. My father-in-law couldn't forgive my mother-in-law either. I was surprised when I heard from my father-in-law about the news. My mother-in-law rented a small apartment and are living together after my ex-husband gets out of the hospital. She couldn't afford to rent a handicapped accessible house because they had no money after paying the alimony. My ex-husband's working on physical therapy, but the chance of him being able to walk again is very small. The younger lover left my ex-husband when she figured out he may never walk again. I have been living alone for a while now, but it's the first time in a quite a while. I am studying to be a certified public accountant. If I get certified, I may be able to get a permanent job through a friend's introduction. I am looking forward to the new chapter of my life, and I will make sure I will enjoy every minute of it.